What's up, you guys? This is a little story of what happened to us on a job last week. So the message of this story is take note of a person's property when you're given an estimate or before you start the job. See if there's anything broken, damaged, anything amiss, loose shingles. Um, what I noticed, what I've noticed before is sometimes on wood, like fencing, when the mold and algae buildup is really heavy, and then you clean that mold and algae away, it's already been dwelling on it and rotting away the stain underneath it. And so it just basically has damaged the paint. And so there's no stain where that heavy growth was, and it's just raw wood. And, you know, a client may be like, hey, why'd you peel our stain up? Just little things like that, you know, loose loose shingles, loose siding, whatever it is, take note. So, and I wrote notes on this, so I got get the whole story straight. So we had a big job last week. It was a, a roof, house, and concrete cleaning. We went through over 120 gallons, over 120 gallons of SH for this job. It was an all-day job. And the whole time the clients were, they watched us, you know, they were outside for a lot of the day. They were inside, they were taking videos and I just, you know, kind of figured, you know, they were fascinated by the process. You know what I mean? But it was a big, big job. I mean, the roof wash, I'll be sure to post some pictures of it here in this video, but the roof it took, you know, we had to soak it. It was concrete tile like that thick, an inch and a quarter thick. We had to soak it with 7%, <sighs> let it sit, rinse it away, soak it again, and in some places do it three or four times. It was it hadn't been cleaned in over 30 years. It was like a 35-year-old roof. So we're doing the job. We're getting done. It's been a day. We didn't eat lunch or anything, which honestly, I don't do most days on the job. I need to get better at that. I just give me a protein bar and some crackers, Gatorade, stuff like that. But I really need to get better at eating. But I just get so caught up in the job. I just want to get it done, want to knock stuff out, things like that. But we didn't eat lunch. We're not, we've knocked out the job. I had one of my fellow uh, washing buddies who lives in the area come and help me. And wrapping up, and the clients are doing a go-round, <clears throat> looking at everything. So they notice, and before that, before this happened, we went above and beyond. They had several oxidation stains, and we pointed them out, said it wasn't part of the regular process. We even cleaned up a number of them for them. Um, just, you know, good customer service, only took 10 extra minutes or so, but... Just, you know, it was a big ticket job. You want to you wanna satisfy people. <clears throat> but they were doing the go-rounds, and they said, hey, there's this gutter guard, this gusher guard on the gutter. It's sticking out. Can y'all fix this? I think, you know, y'all must have did it earlier uh, when you were working on the front of the house. And so I look at it, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure that was already there. It was, like, just bent up and out of shape. It was, it, you know. Pretty sure it was already there, so I go and I look at the video that I took of the property, and man, you guys, honestly, I always try to go out in person for estimates to take a look at everything, and so I videoed the entire property, but until now, I've never really, you know, like unless it's a big noticeable thing that's either broken or out of place, you know, I just, I don't, I'm not looking too careful at stuff. And I'm just kind of seeing the bigger picture of everything, you know, see if there's a deck that will need to be watered while we're doing a roof, you know, things like that. But I noticed in the video, I was scanning by and I scanned by this spot fairly quickly, but I paused it and you can clearly see that the gusher guard is sticking straight up. It was exactly how it was when we got there. So I'm like, OK, cool. That's proof. You know, I'll just show her here after a while. And so I continue wrapping up and then she comes back around and she says that the concrete tile, it was a concrete tile roof, was cracked in a spot. 
it was compl it was just it was just cracked the very bottom tile was cracked and so i was like huh you know i don't none of my guys remember doing that you know i i mean i work with it they're really trustworthy they didn't remember it happening and so i go and i review the video and it just so happened to be right above where the gusher guard was and they had claimed you know we look at this spot every day you know because there's some woodpecker holes up high and we look at this spot every single day you know this was not how it was and so i go and review the video and i pause it it's going by real quick and i pause it and when you pause a video especially when you're going by fast the resolution is just awful but when you look closely you can see a faint crack in the tile and it doesn't there's this mark this crack isn't on any of the other tiles it's on this specific one but the resolution is bad and so there's no concrete proof there was concrete proof of the gusher guard but not with the cracked tile and so you know we uh we start talking to her, and I, and I point out the video to her. I'm like, hey, you know, this gu this gusher guard was like this. Uh, this concrete tile, when you look closely, you can see a faint crack in it. And she wasn't budging. She was like, no, we look at this spot. This was definitely not cracked. And so we ended up having some compromise. What I, fr what I actually believe happened was I think that it was cracked before we got there. But I think our ladder stabilizer, putting it up to do the roof wash, because it was really high up in spots, I think our ladder stabilizer made it worse. And I told her that we compromised on that. And the thing was, we used the ladder stabilizer around the whole house and never had that issue. But we were like, okay, you know, we'll, we're going we're gonna to make this right. We're going to fix this. You know, we can seal it, you know, uh, we were just telling our different options of what we could do because the tile is discontinued tile. She's like, no, I don't want it sealed, you know, so we're like, huh, what, what are we going to do? You know, I'm not a roofer, I, you know, I'm, I know very basic fixes for stuff, but she said, I do have a spare concrete tile that the previous owners left and we could use that. And I'm like, great, awesome. That's great news. <clears throat> and so she brings it out. We look at it and we're like, okay, we're going to return with some supplies tomorrow. We're going to fix this before the thunderstorms happen. And ended up there was bad thunderstorms and tornadoes that happened that night and the following day. So thankfully, you know, we were able to eventually get it worked out. So we return with supplies and, you know, we, we're like, man, we're going to go ahead and... Um, we're going to fix the gusher guard for you while we're up there. I got spray paint to spray paint the gusher guard that matched her gutters, you know, customer service. You know, we'll go ahead and fix that even though it wasn't our doing and we'll get it up there. The new concrete tile up there. So we go to put it up there. It does not fit. It's too big. It's too wide. It's too long. Like, oh my gosh, up there finagling with it and of course the whole time they are both out there watching us breathing down our necks questioning everything very inquisitive people really sweet people really kind really sweet but very you know kind of questioning our our judgment our skills so to speak and so and it's really simple to replace this concrete tile, actually. There's grooves on it. You lift up the one above it. You slide it under and all as well. This was a side piece. And so, side piece. This was a side piece. And so, the builders, when they built it, they had to shave it down. So, that's what we ended up doing. We didn't have any, any saw. We didn't have a wet saw. We didn't have anything. So, we ended up chiseling it. And oh my god, my buddy killed it. He chiseled it and straight line, beautiful, perfect. Chiseled it. Wasn't going in at first, but finally he was able to finagle it in. And long story short, after a couple of hours, we got that in there. We spray painted the gutter the gusher guard, screwed that on there. Looks looks phenomenal. 
they were really happy. All was well. Customer serve, customer satisfied, all that good stuff. But all this to say, you guys, when things are your fault, make it right. And if someone is accusing you, you know, it's it's just so hard. You have to have proof, you guys. And luckily, these were really kind people. Um, while they were, you know, pretty adamant that they wanted things done, you know, a certain way, they were sweet, but who knows what different people out there will try to get over on y'all, you know? So just try and try and try and take note of things. You ne you never know. Take note of what's amiss, what's wrong, and um, just do your best to satisfy the customer. Hope the washing season's going well for you guys. I'll have some more videos. Talk to y'all soon.